día de hoy, Mandarinas por el Mundo nos mostrarán las mejores cosas por hacer en Guadalajara y sus alrededores. Pero ahora mismo no sé qué chingados están haciendo. Tapatío se refiere al gentilicio de un habitante de Guadalajara. But you take a tapatio tour and it takes you to Tonala, Tlacapaki, y Tizapapan. <laughs> this is a papan starting with a T. <laughs> I wanted to go with the alliteration. Basically, you get enormous amount of value for your money. It's 150 pesos per person. Cheaper if you're a student or, uh, or a senior. Yes. It takes you all around the city, starting at the center of Guadalajara, and you get to basically go on and off. The buses come to each of these places throughout the day, so if you want to spend like the whole day in Donala, you can. We recommend leaving the majority of the day for Tlacapaque because one, it's really fun to say, and two, there is so much good food and so much fun stuff to do there. Okay, here we go. This is crema, queso, y tajín on top, which isn't spicy, and... Oh my gosh. Best ever. Yeah, it's really cool to be able to see so much of the city for such a reasonable price. You could hardly drive to these places and figure out parking and gas and all that stuff for the cost you're going to pay. Or less. So that's where we think you should start because it gives you a pretty good lay of the land and you get to see a whole lot for not that much money. And you can find the Top Tio Tour by going to Catedral Guadalajara right near El Centro. And Rotunda de Ilustres? Yes, right next to the Rotunda de Ilustres. But yeah, there will be Tapatio Tour. There are these big red double story or double stacker buses. Double decker? <laughs> double double, double de stacker story decker. <laughs> <laughs> double decker buses. Double that word decker. And then decker. <laughs> right near there is the booth where you can buy your tickets for that. That's super easy. Next on the list. What's next on the list? Carriage ride. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Horseless carriage rides around town. They start in El Centro area right by the Top Tio Tour. It's 300 pesos for as many people as you can fit into the carriage. Notice we said a horseless carriage. There are tons and tons of them that have horses, but we've heard from people that it's pretty inhumane. Horses have died of heart attacks because it's hot, there's traffic, the fumes and everything. So we would like to recommend you do the same. Find one that does not have a horse. We like to think... Fue en ese momento que nos dimos cuenta que está loca. Takes you all around El Centro area, so you get to hear about the buildings and the architecture. Again, just see a little bit more of the city without actually having to drive or walk. And it's about an hour ride. While you're in the Centro Historic area, we recommend you go to what is arguably the largest indoor market in Latin America. <laughs> <laughs> just off camera, she said South America. <laughs> it is just a slip. It's not that I think we're in South America. Buzz off. Anyway. But yeah, this place is absolutely massive. Huge! You will get lost, you will feel overwhelmed, but it is a one-of-a-kind experience. Si deseas adquirir un pájaro o una papaya, este es el mejor lugar. Next, we know your 
probably getting hungry. So there's a few foods that are, or dishes that are unique to Guadalajara that we've tried. They're special to here, so we think you should try them too. It's not that you can't find them outside of here, but it's like the city is known for them. One is torta ahogada. It's this sandwich with some meat in it, smothered in sauce. Usually spicy, but you can get them not spicy too for like us, our gringo palates. The number one place recommended to get those. Tortas Las Famosas near the centro, or Tortas Tonio. Next on the food that you should try while you're here is carne en su jugo, which directly translates to meat in its juice. It doesn't sound appetizing when you translate it, but it is super good. And our favorite place to get that was Carne Garibaldi, which is also a unique experience. It is the Guinness Book of World Records fastest restaurant service. Parece ser que se negaron a aceptar su adicción por el café de olla. Es tan delicioso que si pruebas tan solo una gota, quedarás enviciado de por vida. If you want a little dose of nature while you're here, we recommend visiting Bosque Los Colomos. It's this forest, but there's a lot of diversity there. It's really cool, especially check out the Japanese garden. And if you're into it, you can rent a horse there and ride that around. If you're into it, that sounds like... If you're nope. into horses... Espera. Carajos? But yes, we've gone to Bosque Los Colomos a bunch of times and there's paths for running, there's free workout equipment that you can use, you can ride the horses around, but there's a lot there to do and it's super, super pretty. We are in the wild. I see a creature. I'm gonna try to get it close to it. I think it's a squirrel. Don't forget to squirrel scroll. Alright, we've got it. I'm going to pretend that I have a peanut. I don't know what accent this is. I've been caught! Run! Oh, crikey! There's a real live ardilla. It's a squirrel. Oh, I think I scared it away. I know! If you want to see the more modern side of Guadalajara, which is actually in Zapopan, we recommend going to Andares, Plaza Andares, which is a really modern, nice mall, and it's just definitely going to wow you with all the tall buildings around it and there's a lot of style. To make it a little extra special though, go on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. They have a farmer's market there where a bunch of people come in, there's fruit, there's tacos, specialty products, honey, beef jerky, all sorts of things. One of our favorites, shout out to Cookies Cookies, gluten-free and vegan cookies. Mm. It's 11 to 3. Y mientras disfrutas tu estadía en este maravilloso lugar, ¿podrías comprarme un jabón de rosas con esencia de tulipanes? The next thing we absolutely loved is going to the Guadalajara Zoo. We do recommend that you get a package that includes the Sky Zoo and Safari. Right. Yeah. yeah, cause those really added a lot to the experience. We found some tickets on Groupon, which made it a lot cheaper. And so yeah, look online, make sure if there's coupons or not. And I think it's really, it's like a good experience for the family. We had fun, we're older, but I'm kind of a kid, so I don't know. <laughs> ¿Crees que mandarinas por el mundo deberían ser exhibidos en el zoológico o prefieres verlos por YouTube? So this is kind of unrelated, but we completely forgot to mention this before. We did a survey <laughs> on our channel and about 650 of you responded. It was regarding a new Patreon perk. 250 of you said you didn't know what Patreon was, so we better give you a little explanation. Patreon is a way for people to support content creators that they like who put out free content like this video that you're watching right now. We took it as an opportunity to offer you guys a bunch of extra perks for people who just really love tangerine travels and want to get a little bit more tangerine flavored stuff. This survey was about offering a new perk, bi-weekly live videos to answer questions for you guys, share fun stuff that's going on with our travels, and kind of just give you behind the scenes information that doesn't make it into our videos. And while we were at it, we revamped the perks of some other levels, so head over there and check it out. Yep, we'll put the link to Patreon down below in the description in case you want some extra perks too. Back to it. Next thing is Avenida Chapultepec. We've really, really enjoyed being so close that we can walk there because there's tons of restaurants, bars, and things that things that are always going on. Most people will tell you, go see Avenida Chipotle at night. Yes, you should definitely do that. There's tons of people. There's a bunch of stuff going on, people performing and all that kind of stuff. Particularly Fridays and Saturdays. Yeah, but stuff is going on on Avenida Chipotle all the time, including vendors selling things, street food, different things. So it's definitely a nice, good street to go on if you want a bunch of concentrated happenings that happen while they happen. 
So if you're in Guadalajara on a Sunday, we highly recommend doing Via Recreativa. They close down some of the major streets and you can walk, run, ride your bike, skateboard, rollerblade, bring your dog, and it's a lot of fun. I just go there because I like to see cute dogs. Yeah, it is really nice and <laughs> you can bike, walk around, get some exercise. We pretty much go every single Sunday. It's from, I think, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. That's right. Boom. <laughs> Como pueden ver, esta husky siberiana gringa causa caos cada vez que sale a pasear. Coming up, we are going to tell you our number one most favorite thing that we have ever done in Mexico, which happened right here in Guadalajara. But if you're liking this video so far, please give it a thumbs up. What am I doing? And subscribe if you haven't already to see more of our videos that we're putting out about our travels and life in Mexico. Another thing on our list is going to a tianguis market, and I really hope I pronounced that right because... <laughs> But basically, it's sort of like a bunch of vendors come out, they're selling fruit, food, clothes, artesanias, anything you can imagine, and everything in between. I think that covers everything. It's typically one day of the week, they close down a street, a bunch of vendors on the street. So they happen all over the city, it's pretty much just like ask someone and find out, there will probably be one close to you. Is this really what you're supposed to do? Definitely. If you feel like you've seen enough of the city and have checked everything off that list. We recommend venturing outside of the city and going to Mazamila. It's this really cool mountain town, about a two and a half hour drive. So it is a little bit of a trek to get there, but they have waterfalls and this super unique vibe there. Yeah, we really enjoyed our time. So there are tons of towns, including Pueblo Magicos, magic towns, close to the city. And we recommend searching out the one that you think would be fun for you to go to. We also really enjoyed going to the town of Tequila. And there's a ton of other places within like one to two hours, like Lake Chapala and the city surrounding there, to Palpa. Y si visitas Mazamitla, asegúrate de detenerte en San Luis Oyotlán por unos deliciosos vampiritos. Si tomas, no manejes. Thank you and travels are proofs this message. So we also don't want to do a disservice to you guys by not mentioning things that we didn't get to do, but that were highly, highly recommended to us multiple times. We just never had the opportunity to do those, and those are... The symphony at Teatro de Goyado. Hospicio Cabañas, which is an old orphanage, but apparently a really, really cool museum. Museum. We kept going on the one day of the week that it was closed. Don't know how that happened. Also, Barranca de Huetitlan. Uh, de hecho, se pronuncia Huentitan. You'll have to do some more studying. But you actually do get a pretty good view of it from the Sky Zoo, so if you go to the zoo, you'll see a little bit of that. Uh, we just never got to make the trip. Also, pretty close to there is the aquarium. Aquarium? Aquario, <laughs> that's where I was going with that. The Guadalajara Aquarium, and it's right next to Parque Alcade, uh, which they have, what's that thing called where you hold zip on line? to? It? Yes, yes, a zip line. They have a zip line there. Words. And our number one. Our number one. Favorite thing that we've ever done in Mexico. <laughs> the Herradura Express. When you go to a train station here in Guadalajara, it takes you to a Matitan which is a town just outside of Tequila. That's where all Tequila Herradura is produced. And the train ride is such a blast. Yeah, you get to meet people, hang out. They serve you just awesome cocktails. We did a whole tour with them. And then once you get there to Casa Herradura, where it is all produced, you get to learn the ins and the outs of how tequila is made. While sampling some more, you get to try cooked agave, which is like super cool. And see the whole magic that goes in behind it. We're now Herradura fans for life because it was such a good experience. Yeah, and this is the most expensive thing on our list, but we think it's well worth the money, and we recommend getting Primera Clase, which is first class, or the club or club car, which is like the more of a party and lively social experience. <laughs> and as a special bonus for you guys, we thought we would share our favorite restaurants. These are places that we go all the time, way too often, because they're so damn good. Number one, Organic Now. If you're gluten intolerant, this is just perfect for you because the restaurant is entirely gluten-free. Good prices, really good food. Absolutely, and they have vegan and paleo and vegetarian options as well, but it doesn't taste like vegan food or gluten-free food, it just tastes good. Another place we really like is called El Apartamento, and if you can figure out what their hours are, we 
definitely recommend you go. Sorry. Half the time we went there, they were closed. We <laughs> never really figured out their hours. But we still kept going back because on the off chance that they were open, it was super, super good. <laughs> <laughs> Should we tell them about the load day? Oh gosh. <laughs> we have a load day addiction while we're here, and it's not like I would not consider this traditional elote by any means, but it is freaking delicious. <laughs> they take corn on the cob, slice it off the cob, and then put a bunch of Really unhealthy, yummy, but such but... delicious shit all over it. <laughs> it's called Farmville Gourmet Elote, and it also comes on Uber Eats. Sorry for telling you that. <laughs> but if you can find an elote man at Elotero, visit him. Uh -huh. He's gonna be much cheaper and he's gonna have some cool stuff to put on there too. Like in Tlacapaki. Best elote I've ever had. Ever. A causa de que son increíblemente distraídos, olvidaron recomendarte estos maravillosos lugares para comer. Frontera, Cocina GDL, Ayur Vegana, Pachuco y Dargerin. Oh, and we totally forgot to mention we have done this, but explore around El Centro. No, we did. Oh, we did? Well, I thought. I think we forgot to mention that. Explicitly, you should explore around the historic Centro District, just like beyond doing the Tapatio tour and the horse's carriage ride. Just like walk around, there's so much to see and... and go into Catedral, Guadalajara and some uh -huh. of the other places around there that are, you're free to walk into. There's tons of history here and the more you look, the more you're going to find to do in the city. So these are just our favorite things, but there's also tons of museums. We're not really museum lovers as a rule, but there's tons of great museums that are also highly recommended. Okay guys, we had to bring our friend Emma here just to make sure that we didn't miss anything that was really important that you should do. Emma's lived here his entire life in Guadalajara. So what do you think? What would you recommend? Visita la ciudad. Tienes que conocerla. Trae a tus amigos, a tu familia. Guadalajara es un lugar hermoso, es una gran ciudad. Atrévete a conocerla sin TripAdvisor. Hay tanto por explorar y esa es mi recomendación. And don't forget to buy my soap. <laughs> So we had to do this collab with Emma because we learned after being here that Emma has like the coolest radio voice personality ever. Like I've never heard anyone who has, in person, I've never met anyone in person who has such an awesome voice. So we had to do this. Hope you guys enjoyed us. Let us know what you think. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our channel. To see more of our adventures here in Mexico and... See you get notified the next time we put out a new video and we'll see you there.